What's going on, Fearless fam? Welcome to Fearless Friday. If you're new to the channel, I'm Anthony, and this is Fearless. We're a personal development company that specializes in dating and really helping you get the life that you want. So let's jump into today's topic. I want to talk about the voice inside your head that stops you once you've started making success or started seeing gains. Now, look at it. Think back on the time where you started something, you committed to something. You're like, okay. I'm gonna go out every day and I'm gonna talk to three girls a day. Or I'm gonna go out to the bar every night, be in that environment so I can get more comfortable in it. Or I'm gonna start this business. Whatever it is, you start to see a little bit of traction because you're starting to go out every day. Maybe you go out four or five days in a row and you're starting to see like, okay, I'm getting better at this. Women are looking, it's getting a lot more, I'm getting a lot more relaxed in it. It's getting a little bit easier. And then just like that, two days goes by, you haven't done it. Three days goes by, you haven't done it. Week, you ain't did it whole month you haven't talked to one girl but you were doing so good same thing in your business or your sales right you're making money you have one client two client it was feeling good but it's been a month two months you haven't made a sale let's talk about that voice that stops you from doing that because i dealt with that voice a lot especially earlier on in my fearless days that voice was like you shouldn't be out here doing this what's the point you're not good enough all these little voices that are trying to keep you in your comfort zone, which is not serving you because you're trying to have the best life, which is out of your comfort zone. So let's chat about it. You've been out five days straight approaching. We're using this as an example because this is one of my favorite things to do. And you're starting to see a little bit of success. Maybe you started and you're like, okay, I can't stop girls. It's difficult. I can't hold a conversation. Nobody wants to talk to me. Then three days in, you're like, okay, girls are starting to talk back to me. I'm starting to be become more comfortable with stopping people and it's starting to feel really good and it wasn't feeling like that a couple days ago something's changing then you get five days in and you're like yo this is amazing i got a girl's number i got a date set up i had an incident date the other day and you're like yo can this get any better and then it starts to and then what happens without you knowing that voice has come through the back door you know that voice i'm out here too many days in a row people are going to see me out here I shouldn't be approaching this much. I look desperate. Security's gonna see me. And you stop. It drains your energy. Like it literally, it literally has the energetic drain. And you're like, okay, I'm gonna stop coming out here because it feels kind of weird. What is that voice? That voice is your paradigm. It's a way that you see the world. It's a way that you live through the world in order to keep you safe. And it's been keeping you safe since the day you were born. It's also keeping you from having things that you want that are outside of your paradigm, that are outside of your comfort zone. Because if they were in your comfort zone, you'd already have them, right? And so you actually have to stretch yourself a little bit outside of your comfort zone and go into those unknowns. I'm gonna get in trouble, I'm gonna get hurt. I shouldn't be doing this that area and that's where all the magic happens right that's where you start having successes that's when you start having the dating life that you didn't think you could have but again that voice is very 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 insidious you'll be at it you'll be having great results and then it'll say how about we just stay home today and we'll go out tomorrow instead i mean you've been out five days and you've been killing it and you got a girl's number you got a potential date set up and that voice is still saying let's stay home let's stay home today and then tomorrow comes and that voice is like, let's just kick it today again. It will go out tomorrow. And then it does it again the next day. And before you know it, five days is going by, you haven't gone out. A week is going by, you haven't gone out. Two weeks is going by, you haven't gone out. Now you're backsliding. Now it's seeming more difficult to get up and go out and approach because you spent so many days away from it and that voice has won. So how do you defeat that voice, that annoying voice that keeps coming up no matter what you do? I'll tell you this, that voice is always gonna come up especially if you're stretching yourself and getting out of your comfort zone. It's always going to come up. It's never not going to come up. So get used to it. As long as you're stretching yourself to get out of your comfort zone, that voice is going to come. So what you got to do is learn how to get used to hearing it, but also get better at seeing it. That's the problem. A lot of us are not good at seeing it. Consider hitting like and subscribe if you're vibing with these videos. If these videos are hitting you in the feels and you're like, yeah, this stuff makes sense to me and it's actually changing and shifting me definitely consider hitting like and subscribe so that you guys don't miss a thing. Also, for guys who are learning to become better daters and maybe they're, at, they're struggling with nice guy syndrome, they're not really stepping into their masculine and being fully solid. We love those guys because we know what that was like starting at that place. We want to get those videos out to those guys so they can actually continue to grow and become bigger, better versions of themselves. 
Also, looking at the description, I put a link in there for guys who want to hop on a call with me and kind of get to the root of what's going on with them so we can actually help you guys get from where you are to where you want to be. So if that sounds good to you, go ahead and uh, hit the link in the descriptions and let's uh, hop on the phone and chat. So love you guys, back to the video. I'll share an example. I'm working towards a big goal, a big financial goal. And my vehicle there is what I'm very excited about. And it's doing something I absolutely love. And I know I love this thing because I've, <laughs> I've loved this thing for the last 20 years of my life. And maybe about a day ago, I've been at this for probably about two months, a day ago, something came in and was like, yeah, this is kind of boring. I don't want to do this anymore. And I was like, what? <laughs> and it caught me for a second because I was feeling that way for a little bit. And it felt really comfortable. It felt really warm. It felt really nice to just kind of, let me ease off the brake a little bit. Let me ease off the gas a little bit. Sorry, let me ease off the gas a little bit. And I didn't catch it for two days. And on the third day I caught it, I said, I know what this is. This is that paradigm. This is that voice. It's very sneaky. It's very sneaky. It'll make you feel a certain way, but it'll feel so believable. So again, how do you shut that voice up? How do you get past it? Well, the answer is in the awareness of it. You gotta be two, three, four, five steps ahead of it. You gotta know that it's coming. You gotta know that when you're stretching yourself, that voice has to come up. It's not gonna be an inviting voice, or maybe it will. Maybe, maybe it'll be inviting for the first day. Yeah, let's go out and do this. I love this idea. Let's go out and do this. I'm gonna do this every day. But then three, four days in, a weekend, two weeks, that voice comes. Be expecting that voice to come. Be expecting that voice to come so that when it comes, you already got it. You already have a plan set for when it comes. So what I did was I had to look back. I had to say, okay, so I got this goal and I'm starting to feel bored about the goal. Why am I feeling bored about the goal? Where did the boredom start? All right, where did that part start? And it hit me. It was like, oh, it got difficult. It got difficult at some point. At some point I hit an, act, an action an action point or a, an action step where I was uncomfortable. And I sat with it for too long, not doing the action itself. And five days after, I'm feeling like I don't want to do the goal anymore. But it's not true. What part of this is difficult and why is it so difficult right now for some reason? And then it hit me, it was like, oh, I don't believe I can do this. Like, I don't believe I can do it. I don't believe I, if I did this, I'm actually going to reach my goal. I don't believe if I do this, I'm going to reach, I want to make money. Even though many people have come before me, done the same thing and made tons of money. There's a part of me that's just like, yeah, but you can't do it. And that's the paradigm. That's the voice. That's the voice that's been leading me most of my life. So I looked at it and I was like, okay, what's it going to take in order for me to get this goal, this action step done? Because I can't go around it. It's just right. It I have to go through it in order to get to the other side of it. Just like a guy would if he's going out and approaching. You can't get good with women if you can't approach women. You can't get good with women if you can't get in front of women. If you can't get in front of women, how are you going to practice? You can't. That's right. It's the same thing with this money go. And so I say, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break this goal, break this action step down into small baby pieces. And I said, I don't think I can do this part of it. So I'm going to hire somebody to do this part for me. I'm going to pay somebody to do this part for me. And I'm going to pay somebody to do this other part for me. And they're really small parts. And there's people out there who can actually, they'll actually, their, their job is to actually do that part. So I decided to pay somebody to do it and do what I can manage to do in that action step to get it taken care of. And the minute I did that, the weight was off my shoulders and I got excited about the goal again. Same thing with the women. What's breaking that down into small steps for you? Well, maybe it's going up and being like, hey, how you doing? How's your day going? Or walking up and saying, hey, do you know where Starbucks is around here? Something very tiny that's very low tension that'll just get you in front of the girl enough for your nervous system to start to relax and get used to just talking to them, just saying something, just getting some words out, letting them hear your voice. And then over time, what's going to happen is those little steps just are going to seem really easy and you're going to need to up it a little bit. So now maybe it's like, hey, excuse me. Instead of just being like, oh, do you know where Starbucks is in passing? You're like, hey, excuse me, quick question. Get her to stop, plant, and then ask the question and then look at her in the eye, right? Be connected. And then you'll start to move up over time. Again, this is the 1% rule in action, right? Brian talks about the 1% rule a lot, which is consistency. 1% every day over amount of, an amount of time you'll have a quantum leap right it talks about doubling a penny every day and that comes out to i think more than like five million that's just probably more than 10 million if you double a penny every day for 30 days same deal with your growth so 
look at whatever it is that you're facing that's killing your consistency and find out why you stopped. Did it get hard? And if it did, what part of it was hard? And how do you break that little piece down into very small steps that you can swallow in order to get you to complete the task so that you can start to enjoy the idea of going out and meeting women again? Guys, remember, it's supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be hard work. It's supposed to be fun work, all right? And I want you guys to kill it because again, we're in 2022, we just got here. Go out, kill it, have fun. Let me know if this video helped you. Go ahead, jot down in the comments. If you got any questions, don't be afraid to reach out. And remember, only the confident really live. Peace.